Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer Mark of Chaos with me, Grey Hunter. Last time we played through this game on the channel, it was the Empire Campaign, and that was almost two years ago. It's kind of weird to think about that, but it's been almost two years since I LP'd the Empire Campaign of this game. So we are back, and this time we're going to be playing as the Hordes of Chaos, because the Hordes of Chaos don't get enough love. I really like the campaign for the Chaos faction, and hopefully you guys will too. I think that it's uh, it's an interesting contrast with the, the Empire and all that other stuff that the Empire entails, you know. They've both got the sense of martial honor when it comes to Korn and Sigma, but, you know, we'll get into all that when we, when we begin playing. Um, I'm not going to include the intro cinematic in this uh, in this playthrough because I already did it in the last playthrough so I will link instead the video to the intro movie uh, in the description of this video but for right now let us go to the single player campaign and begin the hordes of chaos chapter one the will of the gods on hard as we did with the Empire let's find out what the gods have in store When the tribes came south, some called it the Great Slaughtering, the God Calling, the Coming of the Storm. There were many great warriors, but none so powerful as the warlord Asvar Kur. His armies destroyed all foes they met and ravaged the lands of the south. But Kur fell at the walls of the city called Kislev, and his allies were scattered. It seemed as if the men of the South had triumphed against the gods of the North, though few believed that a man such as Asvar Kul could be truly killed. Amongst the scattered survivors of Kul's followers, one was to rise to prominence and take up the banner of conquest once held by his former master, a Kurgan of the Kazakh tribe. This man was a bloodthirsty warrior who sought the favor of the gods and harbored dreams of immortality. His exploits would set aflame the lands of the weakling empire. The tale of his life, living long in the legends of the north and the nightmares of the south, his name was Thorgar the Blooded One. Because that's totally not an ominous name at all. So I love the narrator for that uh, particular sequence, just by the by. He is so great at it. Heed my words, brave warrior of the gods! Who is that? Hello, mystical what boy. What do you want of me? I am the herald of the gods! Heed my words, Thorgar of the Kazakhs! You have mighty deeds to perform and great glory to win. The gods have cast their gaze upon you, and you are to be tested. What sort of test? What would they have me do? Their chosen Asavar Kul has fallen. Another can take his place and stand before the gods as their highest champion. A man strong enough to overcome all foes with an army large enough to conquer nations, might inherit the mantle that Kul once wore. How am I to assemble an army? I cannot conjure warriors from thin air! What is the test, foolish mortal? Prove your word. Conquer and despoil for the glory of the gods, and the ultimate reward can be yours. You're With just five easy payments of 1995. The weak men of the South captured many after Kor was lost. But they still live and can fight once again. Seek them out. And with these men forge an army. Follow the setting sun. Here you shall prove your war. This is just a dream. Too much stolen wine and undercooked meat is playing tricks on me! 
Basically, when a screaming energy vortex appears in the sky, it may or may not be the Chaos Gods trying to talk to you. So that was Thorgar the Blooded One, he's our player character for this particular uh, sequence. The Skaven are the other race that appear in the Chaos campaign, so like the Elves appeared in the Empire campaign, we have two separate storylines that merge together and culminate at the end of the campaign. So vengeful empire regiments patrol the area, but they are merely soldiers, little match for a favorite champion of chaos. Press the any key. There's another one of those chaos scum. There's only one of them. This will be easy. Oh yeah. Keep the skulls of the easy. Slain. So like uh, Stefan von Kessel, Thorgar has a lot of abilities that are based primarily on hand-to-hand -hand combat. I don't think he actually has a ranged weapon. He does in the form of the Axe of Doom, which is a throwing axe, but I don't think he has a dedicated uh, ranged weapon like Stefan did where he had a pistol. But that's okay. Uh, what we want first is... Okay, we need Hero Level 5 for that. That is very important. Um, hmm. We will be dueling with him, but I think instead we're going to go first with a point in Axe of Doom. Because it is kind of useful, it's relevant. Uh, it's the ability that we've got down here, and frankly, the only good ability we'll have for a little bit. Because we need to get to level 5 before we get to the good stuff. So, as you can see, he's murdering his way through these swordsmen. That mace, that mace is beautiful. This is no fight. Make the most of these last moments of your lives. There is no retreat. Hell yes. Only attack. <laughs> Only My attack. Channeling corn, I see. So, uh, the symbol that he's currently got here as our uh, our faction icon is actually the symbol of chaos undivided these because we have be not picked a particular lands. god to champion us. These are Marauder axe oh, throwers. They're basically uh, archers. And we will attack these halberdiers. Nice. I think they're halberdiers. Yes, they are. Ostermark, you really should have left well enough alone. You really should have. So, even outnumbered by this many guys, Thorgar is beating the crap out of them. We will eagerly follow you to greater glory. I like glory. Glory's good. So we'll make him control group number one, and these guys control group number two. And we will continue on our way. So, as I was saying, we are currently a champion of Chaos Undivided, and what that means is that we haven't actually picked a god to champion our cause just yet. Well, rather, a god hasn't taken a particular interest in us. Come on, kill those swordsmen. I would like to keep as many of these marauders alive as I possibly can. Nice. They are dying fairly quickly. And we haven't lost that many of our marauders. Come on. There you go. Come on, marauders. You know you want to join us. Join the winning team. Ah, we have to kill these guys first. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll get behind these swordsmen and attack them in the rear. Come on, go, go Thorgar. And charge. Oops. Just charge. <laughs> Would help if I clicked the right thing first time through, but you know. A her for dear. We should break fairly soon. We've got a nice little combined arms thing going here. We haven't lost that many marauders. So that is a plus. Come on. Uh, 
and that should do it. There we go. Us as a sign, great warrior. Show us the way to victory. I will show you the way to victory. It is this way. Now, because I have played through the game before, I do know that there is a unit of archers up here. Swiftly, none can oppose my So we're gonna head straight for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. We'll be hearing that one a lot. Hello. Mighty corn, guide my axe. Get him. You have us do. All right, we've engaged them in hand-to-hand -hand combat, so that will give us the advantage. Run for your life. Our tribe is the strongest. It shall be. Solid. Blood for the blood god. Ready your axes. All right, let's get down here. So, blood for the blood god. The anyone who's god, familiar, even slightly with the, uh, the Warhammer universe knows that Blood for the Blood God is possibly the sentence that is heard the most in the entirety of the franchise. Ooh, do we have another point? No. Didn't think so. Okay. Let's kill these sons of bitches. So that is a sorcerer. Sorcerers are generally followers of Zench, who is one of the Chaos Gods, he's the guy in charge of sorcery, and Change. So he's interesting, he's uh, he's basically always got a coming plan. So think Baldric, hyped up on really, really good drugs. And that is to Zench, in a nutshell. Come on, kill these swordsmen to Indeed. And here I am. And I swear my service to you. Yes. Alright, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to attach him to these guys. And the reason for that, even though he's a sorcerer, and when we played through the Empire campaign, our wizard was generally with the, uh, the ranged units. The reason is because of this ability, Steel Soul. So he drains health from some of the targets in a unit. So we'll put a point into that, obviously. And what that means is you can regenerate your own troops without actually having to uh, spend money on them. I'm not sure if it will work for these marauders, but it's worth a shot. Because they won't be going into combat with two men anyway, and he can do just as much damage. So we're going to attack these handgunners. And yes, it does work the way I thought it would. The men of the Empire will pay in blood. The weak god cannot help them now. So we're just going to sit him up here, and then we're just going to spam powers, basically. Oh, apparently the other unit... Yeah, apparently they don't really care about my, uh... My guys there. Alright, kill these guys. Anytime you want to be able to use this ability again would be great. Alright, Thorgar, you might be in a bit of trouble. We can't kill these guys, like, now. Alright, we're probably going to lose a unit of Marauders anyway, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? Are they not swordsmen? Oh, they're great swords. I didn't realize they were great swords. I thought they were just regular guys, but okay. That makes more sense. That's alright, though. We should... If we play this right... Kill them. Now, he should come back when his morale gets to 50%. These guys are actually doing okay. Can you please come back now? Alright, well, steal the soul. That wasn't too bad. Come on. Alright, so our allies, whoever they are, because they're an unknown warband at this point, they are helping out immensely. You can come back up to here once you return. Yeah, there we go. 
and we'll basically just keep stealing souls. It'll save us a little bit of money, and that's the important thing here. You fought like a true champion, and we will be proud to call you nice. our leader. We shall give the Empire cause to dread the Northmen again! I would like that. Alright, so that should be... Yeah, there we go. We are victorious. So, the problem with the hard campaign for Chaos in the beginning is that your Marauders are okay, but you've got very few of them, and you are facing a numerically superior enemy who has handguns. Kind of an issue. So, we'll just roll with it for now. We were victorious, we killed 100 units and lost 28, we found some gold, we found some items, that's all good. Austin Mark got its ass kicked, and hopefully, if OBS works properly, we will be able to just click this button and not crash. Solid. Solid. Awesome. So that is why I actually started up this LP now, because I haven't had to worry about the, uh, the game being irritating and forcing me to stop recording between loading screens. It's it's beautiful. I love it. So let's go to Angric Wolfbane's camp and see what the you know, see what the haps is. Hold a moment, warrior. What brings you to the camp at Angric Wolfbane? It is heartening well, that there are those that still continue the fight. I am Thorgar, and I am seeking allies to join my battles against the weaklings of the Empire. Then the gods favor you, Thorgar. Not all of us fled back to the north. A champion such as yourself will be more than welcome. Cool. So, uh, a little bit of background on this. The northern tribes are basically a very loose confederation of barbarians. Think Vikings. And they raid periodically into the south from the Chaos Wastelands. So the Chaos Wastelands is like the, the northern north where Chaos rules, and then further to the south is the land of Sigmar and all that, all that good stuff. Uh, Urzbar cool fell at Kislev. Kislev is basically Russia, and there's ice magic, and their queen, if I remember the fluff correctly, rides a giant bear into battle. Let it not be said that Warhammer doesn't know how to be ridiculous. So, uh, Tholgar is one of those Norsemen. They are actually called Norsemen. Hence, you know, the whole Viking thing. So let's have a look and see what we've got. We have an ability point to spend, so we'll put that into... Um, we'll have to fight a duel in the next mission, so I'll put it into this. And you get to put another point into Steel Soul. So, uh, like the Empire Wizards, the Sorcerer has a certain set of abilities that are just ridiculously good and you want them you always want them so i think it'll say here that we are an undivided no well we are an undivided champion chaos undivided is uh what we currently follow though apparently it will not say that and later we do have to make a choice so here we go the uh, the guys who are here are a norse tribe that traveled south and were destroyed at the battle of the gates of kislev there you go um, do we want to keep this? Yes, but we'll give it to the wizard. And no, we'll sell that for a little bit more money. Okay, do we want this or this? Enchanted armor. Actually, the steel thread cloak would probably be good for Thorgar, so let's grab that for him. Didn't cost very much. Uh, we have a slight problem here in that we don't have that many men. So, we have a lot of gold. You could, and it is sometimes advisable, not to bother retraining these units. Like, I won't retrain this one. One out of 36. That's going to cost us a lot. It would help if I went to the actual screen. There we go. So, to replace all of them would cost over a thousand gold. So, instead, we will replace these guys. Because we will need some of them. How much would it cost for the warriors? 260. Not bad. We'll take it. And... Marauder Axe Throwers. If I remember correctly, we get to take four units into battle next time around. So we will buy full replacements for these guys. And we'll take two units of Marauder Axe Throwers, the Warriors, and these Marauders. Yes. 
I think that would be a good plan, and we will enter... No, that's not what I wanted, I want the armory. And we will enter the armory and we will buy the best weapons and the best armor and full command for these fellows. Uh, it seems like we're wasting a lot of gold right now, but these guys are crucial. They are your bread and butter for killing things. Warriors Undivided are very, very good. Cornate Warriors are actually better, but you know, you take what you can get. So I think I will call this episode to a close, this opening one, just so I can check audio settings, etc, etc, and make sure that everything's good. It seems okay, but uh, I will check all of I will check everything, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Warhammer Mark of Chaos, the Chaos Campaign. See you later.